Okay, January 2008. We're looking at Stanley Myers' work. There's the electrode I've built that's inside a fuel cell. And there's the bubbler. Okay, and we're going to apply 12 volts to this. Starting, can you do the honors? Put that wire to here. What do you want me to do? That wire to here. This one? Yeah, go okay. ahead. Be a spark. Oh, Come on, hurry up. Okay, there we go. Now let's see what it's doing. Oh, immediately. Oh, wow. That's going pretty good. And this was this uh, was uh, opaque. The fluid was opaque yesterday. You notice it's clear again. It cleared up overnight. Now let's see what's going on with the bubbler. That's the thing. It won't take long. Let's see, we're drawing right now 8 amps, and we're sitting at 12.6 volts, just under 8 amps. And once it gets going, this bubbler just goes nuts. Okay, so now I'm getting some bubbling. As you can see, we're getting a pretty good action here. We're getting more than one bubble per second. In fact, we're getting sometimes a stream of bubbles, but it's a scary amount of gas, I think. And we're still we're still at eight amps, one uh, twelve point six volts. Just don't get a match around here. What about a lit cigarette? I don't think so, but there you go. It's going pretty good, as you can see. It's plenty of action. So we're running at about almost 100 watts, not quite, not quite. You can see the chamber is pretty well clouded up. But like I say, it clears up on its own <coughs> overnight. Anyways, yeah, we got lots of bubbling action. Definitely more than one a second. And you can 